So I'm starting off the weekly update this week by saying thank you, especially for all the wonderful comments that you guys made last week. You've got two weeks left, including this one. So uh, what am I referencing? I'm referencing the giveaway that we're having. A few of our favorite things, 12 things. I think that's right, Kat. 12 things in a gift basket that goes uh, for everybody here in town or the central United States. We will mail it to you all of our favorite things. These things are being posted each day on Facebook so you can kind of see as the days progress what's going in the basket and there's some really cool things that we've done but some even cooler things that are on the way. So watch Facebook for that and get involved. All you have to do is put a comment. Ding. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, all you have to do is put a comment below Tell us something that you like about Fishy Business or why you pay attention to the YouTube channel and we will get you entered and you can enter two more times, I think. That's this week and next week. Now let's get on to the update. While you hear a lot this Christmas season about wrappable gifts and what will fit under a Christmas tree, why not try a BioCube? The BioCube is a compact, fully functional saltwater or freshwater tank that has everything already included in one package. Only two cords come off the back of it so it'll fit on a table, it'll fit on a stand, it'll fit just about anywhere and you can bring the beauty of saltwater or freshwater into your house. One more thing that I will say, if you've ever been considering uh, going into and having a saltwater tank but you've been scared, for 400 bucks this is a very easy way to get started. Hey y'all, it's Diana with Fishy Business here. I am the plant manager here. I have this 26 cobalt set up. It's fully cycled, fully planted. It, it's amazing. Um, I actually have cut back the pogo and it's regrowing and it has all these little new growths up here. It's so cool. We have a lot of new growth with the S repens down here as well. Um, it's a really nice setup, uh, freshwater tank for anybody starting off. It's relatively easy, low maintenance, Overall, just these plants are really easy to take care of. I just dose it every other day pretty much and they're perfectly fine. So come by, look at it, and come get it. Hi, it's Kevin. I'm gonna show you the highlights of what I got in Freshwater this week. We get a lot of cool stuff, including a type of live bear that we've never stocked before. The Lemia Black Bar Live Bearers. They get about two inches. Really cool little fish. As promised, these are the little Lemia Black Bar Live Bearers. These guys are native to Haiti. They don't get but about two inches maximum size and do best if you do a colony, preferably with one male with all females. I have an incredible assortment of fancy guppies this week. A lot of these that you're looking at right now are from a local source that I get them from. His guppies are always stellar every time I get them in got quite a good selection in there of different dumbos. If you're looking for Lake Malawi African cichlids, I got in some awesome looking Fusco Taniatis. These guys will get relatively large in comparison to most other African cichlids. They can get 10 inches or more in a large enough tank. I have some incredible looking silver angels from a local source. This guy I've been getting angels from for over a year now. All of his fish look awesome. Really nice healthy looking specimens. We get in some adorable little elegant Stiphodon gobies. These little gobies like to eat algae and other biomatter off the bottom and on the sides of the tank. Work really well in a planted tank for algae control. They seldom reach over an inch and a half. This wacky little oddball is an adorable little gilled lungfish. They come from Africa. This is the smallest type of lungfish that there is. They do really well in captivity, seldom reaching over 14 inches in captivity. Lungfish do not have to come out of the water, so you don't necessarily have to set up a setup where he can get in and out of the water per se. The lungs are more in case if he gets caught in a situation where he needs to move. Right now they're cute little babies, but they will get gigantic, huge, enormous, beyond belief on the size of these fish. But make sure you've got a large enough enclosure to successfully keep this fish before you decide you want to pet alligator gar. 
That being said, we got in some small baby alligator guards that look really nice. These little guys are about four to five inches right now. Hey Kevin, how big is huge? Over four to five feet. I got in some true leaf fish. These guys come from the Amazon. They hang out in areas where there's lots of dead vegetation so they can blend in looking like a dead leaf floating around and ambush and stalk and eat their prey. They prey upon small crustaceans and small fish or sometimes even medium sized fish, but they are notorious for not taking to dried or prepared food, so they usually require live food. This is the Buddhist Buddhist crazy fish. These guys occur between fresh and brackish waters naturally. They seldom reach over five inches. They are a type of sleeper goby, and they are an ambush predator, which headstands, stands upside down, sometimes even swims upside down to catch their prey. They are so funny to watch. We have in a good stock of roseline sharks, also called the Nazi eye barbs. These guys do awesome in a community tank, but they do get pretty large. They do get about four to five inches in length. Although they do get pretty big, they're really good tank mates for smaller peaceful fish. This eyeball is a twig catfish, also known as a farlowella. They are a type of algae eating fish. They generally don't get larger than eight to 10 inches. We've got some really striking little platinum green tiger barbs. The platinum greens are kind of like a jade bright hue to them. Really stand out really, really well. They do best in groups of five or more, bring a lot of color and activity to a semi-aggressive tank. Another cool fish I got from a local source, these gold white clouds are so nice and fat and healthy. They are incredible. This would be a very good starter fish, also a good fish to use even if you're not using a heater on your tank. They can withstand colder temperatures with no problem. Hey guys, Hayden here. So today I'm showing you a bunch of the corals I've gotten in recently. Got a lot of nice torches and stuff like that. So let's go check them out. All right, so here we have a bunch of the nice torches I just mentioned. We've got a bronze bomber, a Tiffany's gold, a Todd's torch, um, and then to the left of them got a couple of nice assorted euphelias, stuff like that, some chalices, bavias. Couple nice acans, pink stylos, and some decent chunky zoanthid frags. So, come check them out. Right, and here we have basically almost every single color of acan. So, if you're looking for like a couple di different nice acans for like an acan garden or something, these are a very good choice. Alright, and here we have some yellow polyps I just fragged up not too long ago. If you're looking for an easy, cheap, very fast, Cool looking coral. These are definitely gonna be the ones for you. Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly update. It's Reagan here. I take care of all the saltwater fish here at the store. So today I'm gonna show you some of my favorite fish. I have reef safe, I have small, I have nano, I have large, I have fish only. I always say I have a little bit for everybody. It's and it's because it's true, I do. So now I'm gonna show you my top picks of the week for saltwater fish. First up this week is the tank um, that all of us here have titled the Thunderdome. This is where my larger, more aggressive fish get thrown and uh, we watch and make sure that they all get along. But I do have some larger, more predatory, more aggressive fish in here. Um, and all of these work very well together. So very quickly, I'm gonna touch on every single one. This is the Passer Angel. This is my lovely lady, Janet. Passer Angels can be a little bit more aggressive as a large bodied angel. And even though we have her in here with coral, which is not very smart on us, we know that, but angels do eat coral. This big girl right here is one I've pointed out for a couple of weeks now. This is the large Desjardini Sailfin Tang. She is beautiful, has some awesome coloration, but she is a little bit more aggressive because she is so large. So be, we need to be careful about who we put her with. Seaweed a couple times a week for her. That beautiful purple guy up top with the streamers is the Niger Trigger. Niger Triggers and the pink tail trigger right there. Those guys have ever growing teeth, so they need things like clams on the half shell to, have, to help wear down those teeth. They can be more aggressive and any invertebrate, crab snails and shrimp that you have, 
they are going to eat. So definitely a fish only tank for those guys. And last but not least is this awesome, magnificent fox face. So the magnificent fox faces are venomous if you can look at the spiny dorsal spines on the top right there. Be very careful when we work with them. But other than that, these guys do very well in any type of tank. They are reef safe with caution. Some fox faces and rabbit fish have been known to eat coral. Just keep an eye on them. This one is large and a proven fish as it was a trade-in from one of our service accounts. All in all, this is a beautiful, very friendly, well, not very friendly, <laughs> but very active tank with some really beautiful fish. I always point them out when I have more in stock. I got in another awesome school of monodactylus. These guys are very hardy. They do best in schools. Awesome, active fish. Uh, a great filler fish, and it's a great fish to help break up any maybe arguments or fights that your fish might have. Throw a handful of these guys in there, and they're going to be active enough to kind of break that up. Beautiful fuchsia and yellow colored fish is the Royal Grama. This is a dwarf basslet. These guys work well in tanks, even as small as your bio cubes. They are beautiful. They are so colorful. Typically pretty active. He's showing off his eye spot on his top dorsal fin which is a form of camouflage for him. If you would like one of these guys, let us know. We typically always have them in stock. And they are just awesome, brightly colored fish that work well in reef tanks as they are reef safe as well. Firefish are another really reef safe. These guys are a very peaceful fish. This is the purple firefish. The purple firefish have the same bodies as your normal firefish. They just have the purple on the head and some purple on the body as well. Make sure if we want to do more than one that we have plenty of hiding room. Oh, hello, little buddy. Um, hiding room in the tank, in the rocks, because they can get territorial. But if you have a large enough tank with big enough rock spaces, you can get a whole school of these guys to live very peacefully. So right next door to the purple firefish are gonna be your regular firefish. These guys have that awesome trigger on top, which is just a hinge part of their dorsal fin. These guys are of that awesome fire red color on the bodies, beautiful yellow mouth, purple, lilac purple on the head, just as peaceful and need just as much rock and hiding room so that you can get a whole school of them. And if you have a big enough tank and enough room for them to hide in the rocks, you can get multiple different types of fire fish to live together, including these regulars and the purples. Poking his cute little face out of this rock is a ruby red dragon net. These guys are bright red, bright yellow pectoral fins, and a really nice dorsal fin too on the males that stand straight up, that have yellow, black, and red patterns in them as well. These dragonets are a very small nano fish, very peaceful, so definitely a small peaceful reef tank for these guys. And like your mandarin dragonets, these guys also eat copepods, and that's what they feed mostly on. Big spot watchman goby. I love them. I can't keep them in stock here, you guys. Love these, love these fish. They're beautiful with those legit pink, like Barbie pink spots on their bodies. These pink spot watchman gobies do pair with pistol shrimps. So if you wanted to try to get that symbiotic relationship, these are a perfect goby to do it with. They are not a sand sifter, but they are just super beautiful and fun, fun fish. Hello. Alrighty, we're gonna point out two little animals in this video. One is this awesome coral banded shrimp with the really fun whiskers that are coming off of his body. Coral banded shrimps are awesome, awesome members of your cleanup crew. They do very well in tanks and are mostly fish safe. I will never say 100% because they do have pretty big pinchers, but they are mostly fish safe. Typically they don't go after your fish. The other little animal in here is this cool, it's called a double starfish. They're called a double star because if you look at the top of his body, he actually has another star. These guys are deemed reef safe. Um, I would call them reef safe with caution just because I don't trust all the starfish, but these are gonna be more reef safe if you wanted to try a starfish in your reef tank. This is the blue line trigger fish. Now this one in particular was a special order but I just wanted to show you that we can get blue line triggers. 
As a trigger, again, any um, crustacean invert will be a meal. Blue line triggers are one of the most sought after triggers. A lot of people like to deem them as one of the holy grail triggers because of their awesome blue and gold coloration and patterns on their bodies. Your blue lines can be a little bit more aggressive of a trigger. So we definitely wanna make sure that we pair them very nicely with other tank mates, but there really is no trigger fish that is more spectacular than this blue line. This is a beautiful tank right here with some awesome pairings. This awesome, what they call tricolor fairy wrasse or the solar rhensis fairy wrasse. Fairy wrasses in general are very peaceful and can go with other fairy wrasses and are very reef safe. That awesome copper chocolate color tang is a zebra soma. That is your scopus tang. Scopus tangs are reef safe, love seaweed, and occasionally do a pretty good job of eating seaweed off your rocks. Last but not least is this super awesome super male Lamarck's angel. So your Lamarck's angel are actually 99.999% reef safe. More reef safe than even a coral beauty. This is a super male because it does have that yellow mark on his forehead. If you guys have loved Hayden's Lamarck's Angel and his Red Sea Tank here at the store, I finally have one of some size very similar to what he has. So definitely come pick him up, even for your reef tank. So lastly, new driftwood has come in and you know, we say it every time and I know I sound like a broken record, but these are some of the coolest shapes you have a tank or you're getting ready to purchase a tank some of the most beautiful pieces of driftwood to serve as that center sculpture or that corner sculpture we've got in right now so make sure you leave your comments make sure you get involved in the giveaway the, the 12 things of christmas if you haven't already and uh post on the comments below god bless and we'll see you back here next week